scripture reading today is Genesis 12, 1 through 5. The Lord said to Abram, Leave your country, your people, and the home of your parents and go to a place I will show you. I will make of you a great people. I will bless you and make your name so great that it will be used in blessings. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse those who curse you. And all the people on the face of the earth will be blessed through you. Abram, who was 75 years old when he left Haran, began the journey as God had instructed, and his nephew Lot went with him. Abram took Sarai and his spouse Lot, all their possessions and the dependents they acquired in Haran, and they set out for Canaan. Second reading is John 3, 1 through 17. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a Jewish leader. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could see these miraculous signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered, I assure you, unless someone is born anew, it's not possible to see God's realm. Nicodemus asked, how is it possible for an adult to be born? It's impossible to enter the mother's womb for a second time and be born, isn't it? Jesus answered, I assure you, unless someone is born of water and the spirit, it's not possible to enter God's realm. Whatever is born of flesh is flesh. Whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. Don't be surprised that I said to you, you must be born anew. God's spirit blows wherever it wishes. You hear it sound, but you don't know where it's come from or where it is going. It's the same with everyone who was born of the spirit. Nicodemus said, how are, things, how are these things possible? Jesus answered, You are a teacher of Israel, and you don't know these things? I assure you that we speak about what we know and testify about what we have seen, but you don't receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you don't believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the promised one. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so must the promised one be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in the promised one might have eternal life. Yes, God so loved this world as to give the only begotten one, that whoever believes may not die, but have eternal life. God sent the only begotten into the world not to condemn the world, but that through the only begotten, the world might be saved. Amen. 